Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio, and today we're going to talk about the Auto Resize Subviews property on the UI view. So to better understand this property, it's easier if I just show you how it works rather than try to describe it. First of all, we're going to create a view, and let's give it a color here. And just like any other view, you can add other controls or views inside of it. And these are considered your subviews. So in this case, this would be a child view or a subview, and this would be the parent view or the super view. So with this property set, what it means is every time the parent changes, all the subviews will also change with it. But let's take a look. Right now, in the design view, if I select this and I change it, nothing happens. It's not, re it's not resizing. Well, that's because I'm not using any auto resizing attributes or constraints on it right now. But if I set those, if I come here and I go to auto resizing, I can set those constraints using these red indicators right here. And this is your, your preview for the auto resizing too. And it shows that the, the red part is the sub view and the white part is your, is your super view. So consider it like this. Consider the blue is the white part and that red square is my subview. So if I want this, this white subview to move every time the blue one moves, then I could just do this. And you see there's still some margin there so I can click on the, these margins here. So it totally, uh, it totally will move as the parent moves. And now if we come here and we resize this parent, now if we come here and resize this parent view, and remember this auto resizing subviews is set to true, watch what happens now. Now when I move this, the subview will move with it. But watch what happens now. If I uncheck the auto resize subviews, then what that means is it's not going to resize any of my subviews when my parent view or super view changes even though it has, it still has these auto resizing constraints set. It's not going to move unless I have this property set to true. So now it moves with it. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple property and there's really not much more to it than that. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We have a couple more properties we're going to cover. We're going to cover stretching and installed, and so if you subscribe, you're going to get notified when those two videos come out. Thank you.